Hi, thanks for joining me. Well, I have a gripe. In fact, I'm quite pissed off about something, so I'm just going to tell you what it is. Some of you that know me will know that I, uh, I nearly died last year. Um, what was the year before? Late, late the year before. Of uh, double pneumonia, which put me in hospital for 18 days and eight days in, in a coma in intensive care with machines breathing for me and living for me. Tube down my throat, it was all wonderful, and I came within this far of dying. Now my point is not to talk about that. My point is after smoking for 25 years, heavily, uh, averaging certainly for the last 15 years, about 80 cigarettes a day, I decided enough is enough. I didn't go to hospital because of the smoking, but the, uh, the battle that I had to do to breathe before I went in, it's like I said to myself one night, you either live or you die, and I put the cigarette out, and that was that. Of course, uh, I didn't have to go through the normal withdrawals because I was in a coma, so most of the nicotine would have gone. To summarise on that, though, um, I did give up, so did my partner. She gave up as well. And... Uh, course when I got out of hospital I said I just want to have one cigarette and a nice cold Guinness because I had tubes down my throat and uh, being awake for a couple of days with them still there before they took them out was a real bastard. So of course one cigarette led on to the fact that I had to buy a packet of cigarettes in order to get the one cigarette so I had the one cigarette and then I went um, well I'll just have another and before you know for the next two weeks I smoked. Now I didn't want to do that so I found a leaflet in the uh, doctors about a hypnotherapist, which was $500. Supposed to be very good, she was, so um, I made an appointment and in due course went up to see her. When I got there, I deliberately took enough cigarettes, so I had one final cigarette left, and that's the one I had. Flicked it, and I said, that's it. Then I went up and I spent two, nearly three hours up there. Unfortunately, I uh, wasn't able to be hypnotized. Uh, Certainly not by her methods, and I believe she's very good. But, here's the thing. Once I got outside, I was fully aware that I hadn't been hypnotised, and this is, this is sincerely what happened, because um, I wasn't hypnotised. You can't hypnotise everyone. Now, the, oddly enough, the motivational force to not have another cigarette was the fact I just wasted 500 bucks on a hypnotherapy session. Yes, I was able to go back a second time in a week and we did it again because I was, you know, obviously weakening. She had advised me to, um, a couple of good tips on giving up smoking. Um, substitute a cigarette for like a piece of carrot or um, celery, whatever. Chewing gum this is one I was on for quite a while. I chewed so much gum, it was just like crazy. Anyway, the point is, I gave up smoking. And for the better part of 18 months, I was a non-smoker. And I actually enjoyed it. I was really, I never quite grasped what a big thing it was that I did. Because it was huge. 25 years of smoking heavily and no more. And it was fantastic because uh, one of the things I do in my spare time is acting. And I, I thought this is brilliant because once upon a time, I could not have been in a building if that was where we were shooting for eight to 12 hours and not go out for a cigarette every 30 minutes or something. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it was brilliant. And also I uh, had a, uh, an app on my phone when I gave up first that, um, that uh, keeps track of your, how much you would have spent when you've entered the data. Uh, I'll get you the uh, name of that app. I can't quite remember and I'll put it down the bottom of the video here somewhere. Anyway, it was something incredible. Uh, for the first six months, I saved like $17,000. And uh, it gave you how much extra life you've supposedly gained or not lost to the point. Now, why am I pissed though? Why am I making this video? It's not actually about that. I'm pissed because uh, I left myself... Uh, oh, here's the point. Okay, I'll get to the point. Sorry. Then I'll tell you why I'm pissed. Almost at the end of last year, and we're now in April, um, I had some devastating 
shocking news about a former friend and I won't go into details but uh, yeah it uh, it hit me really really hard it was actually the next day that um, it really hit me and I went stuff this I'm gonna buy a packet of cigarettes and a six pack of Guinness so I did because that packet of cigarettes was going to be one packet of cigarettes and pretty soon it was like well I'll get another packet then stop by the end of the week the end of the week has still not come and we're now in mid-April 2016. God knows how much money I've spent. I know my bank balances have gone way down, absolutely huge. I'm too scared to even calculate, but it's... I'm buying a carton of cigarettes, a carton of cigarettes, roughly every two days. And they're now 150 Australian dollars per carton. So that's one aspect of it. And I'm so pissed that I took it up again. Uh, so early this morning, I, I left myself a bit short last night. I thought, well, I'm going to have to ration the cigarettes because here they bloody are. So what happened? Early this morning, as soon as the local service station was open, I'm driving down there with like virtually no sleep, an hour sleep, which has been pretty normal. Uh, and I've had to buy these bloody things. So. Please, if you have the chance to give up, stay given up. There's no point if you're a non-smoker, if you've never smoked, there is no point in trying to make you understand what it's like to be a smoker. It's a powerful, powerful addiction. It's allegedly more powerful than heroin. I wouldn't know that. But um, it's certainly powerful and people don't understand unless they've ever been in that position. It's, it's a terrible thing, um, yet, you know, we all know, smokers all know, that we're stupid for doing it. We know about the health risks and causing cancer and everything like that. Um, I'll actually say I don't believe it necessarily causes cancer, because I know a lot of people that um, have never had any cancer and they've smoked all their life. One thing I do know is it definitely causes certain medical conditions. One is hardening of the arteries and supplying the blood to your heart. And the complications that can come from there are just, you know, you don't need to have that explained. You can search elsewhere for that sort of information. Uh, strokes, things like that. Won't get into the, what, the, the medical side, but it's very, very hard to give up. One thing, if you're a non-smoker watching this, I don't think you would be, but if you are, it is no good at all to say to your friend, loved one, whoever, you know you shouldn't be smoking, or you should quit that. Because I tell you what that does, that pisses us right off. We bloody well know we shouldn't be smoking. Please don't say that to people. It does no good. All right, so um, now I've got to decide when I'm going to quit again because I cannot afford this. Um, my income these days is so meagre. All my savings are pretty well gone in the last four to five months that I've taken up. You know, there's like 30 grand. I haven't calculated it, but it's something ridiculous. Now, prior to that, uh, I worked out that in the previous 10, seven, actually seven years, seven to 10 years max, more like seven years, I went through $150,000 on cigarettes. Please let this be a motivator to you. Don't smoke. There's something about it that we enjoy. Uh, when I was an, when I was a non-smoker last year, I was using e-cigarettes, the type with the liquid in, and they were actually pretty good. And they're certainly a lot more, or a lot less harmful to you than normal cigarettes. And even doctors, surgeons are saying they're a great alternative. Of course, the government wants to ban them because they're not making money on them. Uh, the Australian government alone, for many years has made billions of dollars per day on cigarettes. So they don't really want you to give up. But then there's the other side of things, well, they also want you to spend time in hospital and spend more money. I'm not going into the conspiracy, if you want to call it that. You can research that. I'm just pleading, don't be like myself and everyone else that's stuck on these things as a crutch. They're, you know, it's ridiculous. Life is so much better when you're a non-smoker. I didn't cough at all when I was a non-smoker. 
the moment I had another couple of cigarettes, coughing, and I haven't stopped since. My breathing, which I'm an asthmatic, I have COPD, which you can also look up. Breathing has not been right since. Um, I can't do any voiceover work anymore because I'm too, too wheezy. Yeah, there's nothing good about it. It's, it feels good at the time, but they're ridiculously expensive. And in fact, um, just to close this video, I'll say that we went on a, a Pacific cruise recently and it was fantastic. The one thing, all right, if you're going to take up smoking, just do it for a, while you're on a cruise because we got to speak to a lot of people we would not have normally spoken to. Um, and there was always on the starboard side of certain decks that you're allowed to smoke. And smokers would know what I'm talking about. It's like when you're at a restaurant or a pub, you go outside for a smoke. Yeah, you strike up conversations with complete strangers. So there is that, but it's not worth the, the cost of it. But I was speaking to an old guy who was probably pushing 90. And uh, he told me when he was a young lad, he made, I think he said, a shilling a week. He said the majority of that money went on cigarettes then too. So for some reason, I thought, you know, they used to be dirt cheap. They've always been expensive. So there we go. Okay. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe and click the like button. I am trying to build up my channel and uh, I have a variety of topics that I'll, I'll pop in and out of for and you'll get notified the moment they're up. So thank you very much and uh, please don't smoke.